Now, what didn't know about DaVinci is DaVinci has a tab called Fairlight that I went over in a previous video. In Fairlight, you can also just do sound design and add in your music. For now, we're going to do a sound design using sound from Arclear Sounds and, you know, and video clips from Vector Tease. And I'm, just, and I'm also going to show you how to line up car sounds with the car in the video. Now, the video has no audio whatsoever, so we're going to import our audio into our clear sound using Soundly. Now, you see, I'm uploading my clips in here, and the clips has no audio at the bottom. And we're also going to take our own audio and put it in here. And once in here, you can also use the tabs on the side to move it around. But we're going to, for now, we're going to go into Fairlight and use it in Fairlight. See, I'm finna drop on the timeline. You can see there's no audio here. This we will be using Soundly to ask you here all the audio files we're gonna bring in. And these audio files, these audio files are from Ocular Sounds. I'll leave a link in the description box below and the pinned comment for all this. And this is the easy way to bring a lot. This is its this is more of an easy way to hear all your audio files. And we hear audio. So when you hear a audio that you like, you just gonna take it and just drop it right there on the timeline for the audio, and then it's matched it up with the scene that's going on. Now, the thing is, we're going to have to go through and find the actual audio that's matched up to the um, Lamborghini. The software I'm using right here for all my sound is called um, Soundly. And this right here, the sound package that I'm using is um, from the sound pack I'm using to come from Arcure Sound, which is the ultimate bundle pack with all types of car sounds. And the good thing about this is that you could take it and drag it in there. <laughs> Oh, we could use the sound, so we could take it. Now we could take the sound that we just found using Soundly. You could take it, drag it, drop it right here. Oh, the one over right there. You can take it right here and drop it on the timeline. And. It doesn't really match with the video. Make move this out of the way. Bring this up. And maybe slide this here underneath this one. Just need to find a uh, sound clip that go good with the first one. Yeah, sound. No, that go good with the end of one. Don't really go good with that up that well. However, the good thing about the Vancy is this. You go into this music note. You come here and start tweaking it. You grab this right here. It's a nail. Grab it right here at the edge at the top, push this in, grab a circle, curve it a little bit. And do this at the same, break it down a little bit. Do this at the bottom. This is for you prevent that clipping noise you might hear at the beginning of your sound. Where you got smoothly transitioning in. Okay. 
No, that's one thing that's good about that's another thing that's really that's another thing that's really good about DaVinci that you can do your own sound design within DaVinci. And another thing about it too also, if you have like a lot of plugins, if you have like a lot of plugins like the Kalo Heart plugins, they do pop up in your EQ selection. And you got certain VSTs, like a lot of my VST pop in here, little musos in here. Um little machine twos in here. Loop track, labs, lock connect, like a lot of your uh, sound stuff, actually, a lot of your sound VST will pop up in here, which is pretty much the craziest thing I've ever seen on most video editing software. Like a lot of their stuff, like a lot of your VST will pop up in here. Oops. Sound we monitor. You got for VST that for uh, reverbs, they're pop up in here as well. You pretty much do anything in here in the whole uh sound part like in fairlight which is the tab i'm working in the fairlight you do anything like all your sound stuff could be done right here then you can jump right back to your editing which is the tab we in which is which the tab we're back in now and you can go right back there's your videos there's a whole lot better having it fade in <laughs> That might work. And another thing is too, also you can still do your sound design right here a little bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, you turn it up too loud. See, that's not bad. All they need to do is probably put something here to transition between the three timelines of the um of the video. Only I need now is probably find some transitions. So that'll be an effect how in between the uh three raw footage between uh to uh, between the three clips, and that'll be it. That's pretty much that's one. That's what I'm about. That's a lot of good thing about the Vinci. You can do so much work in the Vinci can that you can't really do in other films. Other uh, film editing software. <laughs> And then you also can preview your uh, cuts before you add them on there. Okay, so since this one might work, so let's drag and drop it. The good thing about the Vinci is that if you want to see what a transition look like, put it in the middle of the two clips, and just hover over transition. You can see exactly what it looks like. We don't have to worry about this way. You don't have to worry about this is an easy way to do it. This way you don't have to worry about seeing what the transition looks like. You don't have to drag and drop it on there or remove it. Yes. Hover over it, see what it looks like. Then you can take it, see which one you like, take it, save between the two clips. Why is it not setting? And so you can slide your mouse back and forth over the top of the transition and see what it looks like before you add transition to your timeline. Now, if you can't add, if you can't add transition to your timeline, the problem is that the clip, uh, let's see right here, the clips might be, you know, you can't drag it out at the top of the bottom because 
can't do it because the clip is too long so you can shorten the clip by a few frames shorten it here by a few frames put it together and see now you can add it <laughs> That's all the issue to it. Is sometimes the, the frames need to be shortened by a few clips. By the frame need to be shortened by a few seconds, so they shorten the frame. They shorten the um the length of your clip. They drag it back, make it a little bit shorter, and then you add, you know, your transition to it because you don't have that much information to it. But eventually, resolve need enough information to add the transition. So if the uh, one clip is too sh uh, short or too long, it's not gonna add. So you always uh, shorten the clip. This one might be too long for a transition. So just gonna shorten this, bring it up, maybe shorten the audio some, and bring both of these up close. Or I could just push them right into um that clip right there and shorten it. Maybe take this one to make might have to shorten this one a little bit as well. Might have to shorten this one too. So we go through shorten all that. See it's there, but it's not exactly on the timeline because let's okay, see. Bring that over some. Bring that in. It's about right. See, must bear. Then, if you need to, you can always go back to um, Fairlight and maybe uh, work with the audio a little bit, maybe add a little bit of distortion to it if you want to. See, you sound much better now. This is how you, you know, as usual, just you click on the, as usual, now the add sound fetch, you come to this plus sound. The add sound fetch, you come to this plus signs and this pick where you need an EQ, whatever on there, and just add to it. So, thanks for watching the video on how to do sound design in DaVinci Resolve and also how to do transitions as well. Don't forget to like the video, share the video, click the notification bell. To, don't forget to share the video, like the video, leave a comment. Go ahead and click the subscribe button and subscribe to the channel for more. And click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos posted. And also check out Ocular Sound in the link below. And don't forget if you do make a purchase, go ahead and use my discount code, MyZarvy20. And then check out for your 20% um, discount on your, uh, any of your um, purchases. And also check out DaVinci Resolve too as well. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.